what is up? Happy, is it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Who freaking knows? It doesn't really matter. Um, but I thought I'd hop on here today and talk to you a little bit about Zoom etiquette and give you guys a few helpful tips that will help carry you through uh, this quarantine, connecting with your friends, families, and coworkers. Uh, I've been using this app and this program uh, for the last three years, and I absolutely love it. Uh, my only regret with Zoom is that I didn't buy massive stocks in it because it's gone from 2 million users to 200 million users in, in just under a month. So a lot of people are hopping on Zoom. Maybe it's a Friday night birthday call with your friends. Maybe it's a Saturday night, Saturday happy hour. Maybe you're getting on there to connect with people while you're working from home or you're connecting with your teams. But I, for one, really love Zoom and have been using it for a while. So I wanted to hop on and give you guys some helpful tips because I know that there's been a lot of stuff going on. Uh, my, my daughter has been actually using Zoom to connect with her preschool class once a week. So they get on, they see each other, they sing songs, they absolutely um, they absolutely connect that way, which is really cool to see. And she knows what Zoom is. She always asks me, hey, mommy, do you have a Zoom today? Or are you going to do a Zoom video? Um, and I think that as time goes on, that's going to be a lot more normal for kids and even for us. So I thought I'd hop on here real quick because a lot of people um, haven't used Zoom before. So number one, you can sign up at zoom.us with a free account. It's free with your email address, uh, your name, and and that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, and then you can also download the app for your phone, which is also really helpful. Um, I personally like using it on laptop because then you can actually stream to Facebook if you use it for work. Maybe you're doing interviews, maybe you're doing a video, whatever it is, you can actually stream stuff to Facebook. You do need to pay for an account to do that. I do have a link for $9.99 if that's something that you want to start doing uh, because your work landscape has changed a little bit. But when you have a free account, you can Zoom for 40 minutes. They'll cut you off after 40 minutes, but you can always hop, hop back on the number. Um, you can have up to, I think, 30 or 50 guests. Um, depending on uh, what you're streaming and if you're doing anything else on, uh, on Zoom. When you record a Zoom, you can save to your desktop, which is what I usually do because then I can repurpose the content, put it on LinkedIn, put it on YouTube, uh, put it wherever I need to so that people can catch a replay. If you guys are hosting a business meeting at home and you want all your team to see it, but they can't show up at the right time, it's really great. The other thing that you can do is record it to cloud. So you can actually just send them a really quick link and that'll help. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that when you show up, unlike Skype, um, when you show up with Skype, it's video and audio together. With Zoom, it's different. So with Zoom, there's an audio portion and there's a video portion. So you have to be very aware of this because I've seen some crazy stuff happen, okay? I've seen people turn off their video and go to the bathroom or have an argument with their spouse or maybe they're even getting getting jiggy with it. And I've heard those things on Zoom because they didn't realize that they, were mute, they weren't muted. Um, so... Number one, the host. So whoever hosts the Zoom can mute everyone so that you can hear because if you have a big group of people, that can be a little bit crazy. But the other thing is, if you mute the sound, like on your phone, if you mute the sound, you can often see video. So I've also seen some nudity that I'm sure that those people didn't really want to happen. But being aware that there's both video and audio functions on this app is really important, especially if you're starting to use this a little bit more often, and especially if you're starting to use it um, as a business tool, because we wanna keep it professional even though we're all at home and pants are optional. Okay, so you can use Zoom to stream live on Facebook for business. You can use it for meetings. There are breakout rooms that you can do if you're working in a team. Uh, you can use it to connect with friends and family. I highly recommend that if you've got um, a matriarch or patriarch in your family that is older, a grandparent, a great grandparent, that you know, someone helps connect them to their family right now because it's really hard uh, for them to feel connected and they get lonely. And, and, and when people age, having a community and a village around them is really, really, really important. So if you haven't connected with your loved ones, uh, via video conference, Zoom is a really great way to do that. Um, I know that my mother-in-law's birthday is coming up this week, so we'll probably connect. We connected last Saturday uh, with my uh, brother-in-law and his uh, soon-to-be wife who was supposed to get married on Saturday. So it's a really great way to connect with family and show your love and support for them. 
Um, the other thing that I really wanted to bring to your attention is while the Zoom is going on, there's a little button at the bottom that says chat. And when you hit that button, you can see the participants. So you can actually mute in that chat box if you show participants. But what's really, so if somebody jumps on the Zoom and they're late and they don't know and they have, uh, their, they're unmuted, you may want to jump in and mute for them, um, instead of calling them out on a Zoom in front of everybody. But the other thing is for you to be responsible for your muting when you hop on and be respectful of other people. This etiquette, uh, when people are talking, you want to mute yourself so that there's no background noise. Like what if my daughter comes into the room or like what if there's they're jumping on the trampoline outside? I'm going to mute my side and still be present. The other thing that you want to do for Zoom etiquette is if you're busy and simply listening to the Zoom, you want to turn off your video because it could be really distracting to the people in the video that are super engaged. Here is the kicker, and this is something that everybody needs to know, okay? When you are on Zoom and there is a chat, anybody can use that chat while the, while the Zoom is going on. In that chat, you can either choose to broadcast to everyone your comments or questions, or you can chat privately amongst that group to different people that are on the Zoom. So you can send private messages. But this is really, really important that you understand. After the Zoom is over, there is basically like if you were running a strata meeting, you know, you'd have minutes or if you were running for council, you'd have minutes with your municipality. There is a record of everything in that chat that goes to the person that hosted the meeting. So they can review what the chat looks like if they were hosting the meeting. But here's the important part. They can also view private messages. So they can also see all of the everybody messages, everyone to broadcast everyone, but they can also see the private messages there, the person that hosted the meeting. So you wanna be really careful about that. Hey, Danelle, how's it going? So I thought that this would be really helpful for all of you that are just kind of new to Zoom and this is something that you know, you've know you started because you're at home, maybe you're working from home, maybe you're connecting with family this way. Um, but if you want to learn how to use this as a business tool, I do have a really quick link that's uh, $9.99 and that will help you use this tool to stream to Facebook or stream to other places, okay? Um, and if you have any questions, please ask because it took me a while to get it, get used to this and also know that the the voice and video are separate and you have to be very mindful of that when you're on the zoom so hope that helps hope you guys have an amazing tuesday wednesday thursday who knows what day it is it doesn't really matter uh but love you and uh we'll talk soon bye for now